Oh, them. Hi, world. Uh, okay. Do I look at this or do my talking? Did I tell you what this program is called? It's called yeah. It's called Procreate. <laughs> So creating like a pro, but when you put those two together, it sounds dirty. I don't know why they chose that name. <laughs> making, just making babies. <laughs> Let's see. I like that this program is like having so many art tools in one compact thing. So it's like, it's like having all your art pens and your pencils and your brushes all in one and it's also like having a sketchbook tracing paper in one too so the layers can act like the tracing paper so you start with your sketch so that's your koala sketch and i always use a pencil for that and once i have a pretty good idea of how this is going to look i lower the opacity down which is kind of like putting tracing paper over it. And then you can put another layer on, and then you can actually start drawing over your sketch. If it's in the way, you can just get rid of your sketch entirely. But it's still there. So you still have like a record of the whole process. When I have a basic drawing, then I, I put another layer on top for all the details. Um, and I like to keep the basic one for making the stencil. And then I put, I'll print both. I'll print the basic one for the stencil and then I'll print the finalized one for reference for looking at it while I'm tattooing. Yeah. So that's really, really, really great for tattooing. And it's also really nice because if you, like let's say you told me, actually I don't want butterfly wings, I want regular wings, I still have that initial sketch with the, with the bird wings on it. So instead of grabbing an entire thing, I can just, it's, it's good to go back and edit your drawing based off of what your clients like, you know, did or didn't like. Yeah. And I didn't have to erase the whole thing and get eraser bits all over the place. <laughs> so it's much cleaner. And it's also really nice that it's so portable. Like I said, like I don't have to, I used to have a box of pens and pencils in my bag and a sketchbook everywhere I went all the time. I do kind of miss that a little bit, but it made me feel more like an artist. <laughs> but this is so much more compact and this is all I need to bring. And it's like the world's biggest sketchbook. So I can file all of my old, like all these are tattoos that I've done on the iPad. The other nice thing is people can send me or I can take a picture of their actual bodies, <laughs> like this one. And like I put, I put a layer over that and actually sketched virtually where her tattoo's gonna go. So it's really nice to show people like a little preview of what their, their tattoo is gonna look like. That's a really big perk, like this one took a picture of her hand and, oh, actually that's my hand. <laughs> I took a picture of my hand and did this little sketch over it and showed her like, this is kind of what I had in mind for your tattoo. All good things. I'm still trying to come up with a reason why I don't like the iPad. It's kind of the perfect tool for tattooing, but it does make me miss actually drawing on paper. So maybe that's a perk too. It gets me back into drawing like I used to. One thing I don't like yeah. about it, stippling, uh, which is that dot technique. Yeah. I can't quite, I don't like stippling on this thing because it's noisy. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's like tapping. There, there are brushes. I downloaded one for stippling. It was a free one. Yeah that didn't quite work because it just lays out like a circle of dots. I'm sure it exists, I just haven't found it yet. Maybe that's the other bummer about the iPad. 
is if you want to do an art technique, you have to search for that function rather than just do it. So I haven't found a good stipple brush yet. <laughs> it sucks if the battery dies. Yeah. <laughs> Power. And you don't have your charger. That's happened. Yeah. I got here and I was like, uh oh, it's dead. <laughs> Goodbye, world. <laughs> I'm signing off. I know. I'm done. <laughs> What's my, what should my sign off be? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.